real small bunny. Oh my goodness, real small. All righty. Basically reset there and ready to go. Almost just got to tweak the snare a bit, but uh, you know, I'm going to leave two of them there. I got to tweak it. I know it looks bad now, but I got to tweak that there when I turn the camera off. So hopefully he still runs through this lead here. So might as well have a double punch there. So in my last video, this rabbit came through, slipped it up and went on. Look what he did. He either bit the chin up stick, you see his tracks here, and went on. I think he bit the chin up stick and went on. So we're going to adjust that snare, but that's actually crazy that he would bite that and go go around. So I just got her fixed there. I added another chin up stick and you know, we'll see if he comes back because he was here last night and he bit the chin up stick, man. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. So I got two snares in here and there's some bunny tracks going both ways actually. So somebody was in here yesterday, I think, which, you know, I didn't get a chance to come in yesterday. So I hope they never took them if I got one. Awful big rabbit track, man. Look at that. What is that? Yeah, that's rabbit. And he went in there. And he slipped it up. So we ran by it. He just slipped it up. Not much, but he did slip it up. That's crazy. One slipped up. That was like the biggest rabbit track I've ever seen. Yeah, look. You can see he stepped right here and right there. I slipped it up, but uh, I got to reset now, and uh, hopefully he comes through and we get him tomorrow. More than just him here. My good God. Look at all the tracks. Oh, yeah. So I'm definitely going to reset that snare and leave that one there. Yep. Yeah. That's a bigger one. That is definitely a bigger one. Yes, he's nice. Reset and ready to go. It just looks oddly shaped. It's just the angle. But yeah, hopefully we'll get another one there. Is that the next snare here? See, they ran there well. And man, he ran through my snare, but he just slipped it up again. And this is honestly probably somewhat my fault because I didn't come in yesterday when I should have because it was really mild. So the snow dropped a bit. So the snares are probably either up or down a little higher than you wanted them to be. So that's probably my fault. But uh, yeah, best we can do is fix it and just hope he comes through again, which I'd say he will. And we'll get him in. Bunch of coyote tracks about 100 feet from where I just picked up that uh, the last rabbit. It's crazy how they didn't find it because it was possibly there for two days. But I'm probably going to come do some coyote hunting here. I know this area well, so I, you know, feel pretty confident doing it here. Well, there you go. That darn coyote. Got one of them. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to come up here and uh, take care of this problem. I don't know what happened like if they breed it overnight or something but like this is insane i'm putting a snare there on the way back 100 percent the only snare i got left in my pocket and i actually might take one off look at this here this is what the six this is the fifth or sixth snare pulled through that's insane man pulled right through and he was here that's getting crazy five or six pulled through i've never had that before so we'll reset that one as so and we'll leave that and then hopefully luck is on our side next time lock it off a little better i suppose and yeah all we can do is hope to get him like i don't know what happened in that two-day break i gave this area but like i think they got good leads now so i'll probably give it one more day and see what they do see if they stick to these leads and if they do i'll come up and put a bunch of snares here again i think that's a good plan i don't even know what happened here he came through it's almost like he knocked down the brush behind it and just went on so we're gonna get this one fixed up because they're they're using it oh they're using it just a matter of getting them 
So we got my snare right there. This is one I caught one in already. So he never ran here. He ran right here. So I'm just gonna block that off and hopefully he uh, he goes there. It's a quick block off. Well, they were here. But look at this. Another one that slipped up. What's going on? I don't understand this. This is probably the seventh snare slipped up. So I'm gonna fix that and we'll get on to the next one. Crazy. Another one here. Look at that. Gone in and what do you know? Slipped up. So we got that one fixed. Get them next time. I don't know what's going on. And not caught. Somehow. You tell me how, because I don't know. This is getting crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that. Okay, she's fixed and uh hopefully we'll have that bunny next time. I sure hope. Still nothing here. I can't believe that. I figured I'd had a double in this one at some point. But not even any action here today. But obviously I'm gonna leave it and you know they'll come around. They'll come around. So snares up there or uh tracks up right there. But one two and three nothing not even a track here just squirrel but uh you know they'll come around to this one too just a matter of time before they find the birch and they'll get stupid all right going down to the bait station so they ran here looking good so far hey i see feet so nothing in that one that one wasn't touched that's good enough wasn't touched yep and I got one. That's perfect. I reset that one last time because he slipped it up. That's a nice size rabbit. One. Two. He went through there, but I don't know. We'll leave that one there. It looks like he ducked it or something. There's a lot of squirrels here. That's fine. And, uh, no, no action there. And, oh, that one's pushed to the side. I got to get in and fix that one. I got two more to check. Ah, look at that. It slipped up. How many snares am I gonna have slipped up today, man? This is getting a little much. Looks like a pretty sizable rabbit. Man, he's all kinds of screwed up. I'm probably gonna have to put a whole new snare here. But that's fine. Yeah, might be a bit of trouble to get him out there. Hold him up. Yep, he's a pretty big one. Stretch him out. Grab his front legs and stretch him out. Yeah, he's pretty big. So there is a few leads going here. So I've got a snare. You get on my hands and knees to do that one. Right in there. I'll put a put a finger to that. Right in there. Now I, I just gotta freshen up some of the snow here and we'll be on our way to set a couple more. And last snare I'm putting out for the day here. Come back in the morning and uh, hopefully we got some bunnies. First snare of the morning. Actually, no, that's a lie. I mean, first one caught of the morning. We had four others on touch and that's all right. That's it. Ooh, he's pretty fresh, actually. It's not too stiff. That's awesome, though. That's another reset, so I'm going to reset that one also. That's the third rabbit out of this snare this year. Not this snare, obviously. You can see I just push all my brass to the side, and I'll take it up at the end of the year. But yeah, we're going to reset it because there's still a few bunnies running this one. So we'll leave that one again. Reset it. Snare right after that one. Another bunny. Well, he wouldn't have very long either. It's a good catch around the neck, though. Perfect. Reset that one, too. There's still, I know there's still some running here. So that's two out of this snare as well. Mm -hmm. So, bunny number two. Just got that snare reset there. Hopefully, we should get another. Ooh, next snare. He was here again. Ah, went around it. 
So I gotta do a better job blocking that off, that's all. And we'll have him, no trouble. All right, so I just cracked off a limb there. Got some stuck there. He shouldn't go around it anymore. He should go through it. I've had this one slipped up twice now, so. I'm gonna check the next one. So the one I set yesterday, this one here, you see they were here like last night or this morning. The one rabbit was for sure. And that's what you call a refusal. You can see he went up to the snare. I'll zoom in on it. You can see he went up to it and he backed away and just went back his lead. So that happens sometimes. That might take him two or three nights to go through that snare, but he will go through it. Down to the next ribbon. So I set this one here yesterday too, I think. And uh, we had a rabbit come through. And I don't know exactly how he got around it. I'm gonna assume here, cause that's pretty beat down, but he didn't want to go through that snare. So I'm just gonna block this off, that off, leave the snare open and block that off a little better. And we should have a bit of luck here and some coming nights. They're here. Alrighty, got that one reset. It looks a lot better. I can see why I never went through it actually, but I don't think he'll miss it this time. So he was at this one again. See my snare there. This is the third night in a row. He's walked up to it and turned around and came back. So I don't know what to do there. I'm just gonna leave it. He'll go through it eventually, I hope. So just moved up another 40 feet. We've got a rabbit. You can see there's two tracks going in that way. Snare right there. And he refused it and he came back and he went on there and there he is walking about up there so we're gonna leave it he'll go through it eventually because he slipped that one up last time so i don't know if that made him wise for a bit but he'll go through it so another interesting one here first off show you the snare in right there i've already caught one bunny in it right there and uh we got tracks here heading this way what did he do i don't know he came from there i blocked it off but not well enough so i'm gonna block it off a lot more there now all right that's that's fixed up we got her blocked off like fort knox there so you're not getting through should only have one route and she'll be to go through there there are little gaps but i'd be forever filling that in so we'll just see what he does tonight if he goes through the gaps or not we'll see this set here, I keep saying I get high hopes for. And I should, because they keep coming here. Oh, I see what they did. They're not jumping over the stick. They pushed this bow down and moved my snare. There we go. I'm going to block it off a little better, because this is, I think, the fourth time now I've had rabbits come through here and just never caught them. So i got to put the camera away. I'll show you when it's done. All right. She's blocked off good enough, I think, there now. And if it's not, I'll learn my lesson next time. So, you know, I thought they were initially hopping over it, but they're going over that. So you can see there too, because the pine needles are all knocked everywhere. So that tells me the rabbit poop there. So they're here. I'll have one there eventually. Just might take some time. We've got another smart bunny, I think. What did you do? What have you got done, old bunny? So I actually think he was, did he bust it? Oh, I did bust it. So we had one. Yeah, you can tell we had one too because, you know, they poop everywhere when they get caught. And he busted. Busted it off. Darn it. So we're going to reset this one. Now, I don't really know if he'll come back. I don't know if they work like that, you know. If they come through and get caught, if he'll come back or not. But like I said, I'll leave my brass here and I'll pick it up at the end of the year when I'm done. And uh, yeah, we'll get this reset here now. All right, snare's reset, blocked off pretty well. Hopefully he comes back through and uh, we can get him that time. Looks good. Well, again, this double set here that I keep saying I get high hopes for, because I should. Nothing there, not even touched. I don't know, I might take that one up soon. It was like a week and nothing happening to it, so I don't know. We'll check the next one. Ribbon's right there. It's Say again. Alive. Yeah, we got a live bunny there. Now, I'm assuming he's caught in the snare because he's just staring at me. So we'll put the head cam on and walk up and see what happens. So hello, if you're new to the channel, if you're not and you follow along, you already know, but I'm going to tell you either way. I'm very honest. I'm going to tell you everything that happens. 
whether it's ideal or not. And that is the realities of things. So I like to show the realities. Um, in this specific case, I caught a rabbit and it was still alive when we got to the snare. It's unfortunate. It's not exactly how you want things to go, but that's how they go sometimes. It's just the realities of hunting and trapping. And the best thing you can do is make the right judgment call at the time. And I decided instead of shooting him, it's a little bit overkill for the situation. Um, I was just going to grab his back legs and give him the good old fashioned karate chop over the neck, which breaks the neck like that. And the rabbit suffers no more. Now he's not exactly suffering here. Brass doesn't have a lot of strain. So he wasn't even choking right now, honestly. Um, this rabbit could have been let go, but he was a nice big one. Uh, I wanted this rabbit. And instead of letting him go and just having him run right through the exact same snare the day after, um, karate chop right there, as I said, one and done, and rabbit's good to go. Well, I got him there. You just hit him and you separate their neck. So you can see there he's good and gone. That's the harsh realities of it. I don't like doing that, but... You got to sometimes when a rabbit's caught like that. Like you can see he got some blood around his eyes. I won't show it, but and his ears. He's probably not gonna leave anyway, so there's no need to let him go. I mean he's only gonna run through it the day after anyway. So, you know, that stuff happens and that's what you gotta do. Nobody likes doing it, but you gotta do it. So it is what it is. So we're gonna go down to my bait pile there now, but you know, like I keep saying, there's tons, there's hundreds of rabbits up in this area. Like I've never seen these tracks around here before. So just a matter of time. Just a matter of time before some rabbits come down and find it. They're in the area, so just a matter of time. All right. Untouched. And I blocked that one off where I got one before. Squirrel went through there, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, there's no rabbit running up around there now, so that's fine. Untouched. And, oh, slipped up. Slipped up. <laughs> so we could have had one. I'll get in and reset that one in a second. But that slipped up good. So we did go through there. Yeah, like they're here. They're around here for sure. Anything in it or what? Not touched. Let's see where they threw here. Wow, that one slipped up too. The bugger. That slipped up. So they're they're here. I just can't catch them. But uh, we'll get that one fixed up as well. All right, so we got to reset. I'll get one here eventually. I know that. It's twice he's had this one slipped up. Yeah, you can see he's running over there and everything. Yeah, he's running from over there. So they're around. They know where the bait's at. The apples and the birch. They know where it's still. So I'm here behind the slipped up snare. Some rabbit fur there. So anyway, that tells me he had a bit of a struggle, but hopefully this one isn't hard. To, yeah, you see he got some hair there in it. Hopefully this one isn't hard to just open up. I gotta retime on better. He almost took the snare on me actually. So anyway, I'll tweak that and I'll just show you the final product with this there one. There we go. She's looking a lot better there. Now that one is a little kinked up because that's the one I caught the rough grouse in. And I guess it did hold up pretty good. I probably should reset it, but I'm not going to. It's only a grouse. It don't move much. They're not very strong, so it probably didn't do much to that wire. And you guys might be saying, uh, yeah, it did, and I might have that bust off next time, but we'll see. Yeah.